Hi guys, Drew Crank here, going to carry on with Alan Wake, hopefully complete this in the next couple of episodes. At least I didn't have to worry about her. This game's fun. She knew how to stay safe. Uh, Alright, he did that weird jump down there, didn't he? Why can I hear growling? Am I going to have to face taking bears? I don't think I'm prepared for that. The well lit room. Oh man, that breathing is off putting. Okay. Uh, Sarah was now. almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next. Poor Barry. Yeah, I'm sure I saw something glowing over here. But I am wrong. Okay. Now let's carry on. Oh, not down there. <laughs> yeah, let's carry on. Just not down the hole. Or down the cliff. Oh man, stop using birds. Where, where are they? <laughs> yes! One lot of birds burnt to the ground, burnt asunder. And go away! Not getting too close, fortunately. And let's watch them dissolve. What? They're not dissolving. Boo! You guys can dissolve them. I need bird ashes. They sound like they went, oh my god! This is very wavy. I'm not gonna have more invisible dudes at all. Ha! You got what you deserved. Oh man. Come on. Okay. This way. Oh, I was watching the wrong set of birds. Down I go. I don't like this, there's so many of them. Ah! Ha! Take that. Okay, helicopter. Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Uh oh, blood. Oh no, flares. <laughs> He's left us a trail of flares. Looks like they've come this way. Barry's been touched by the darkness, hasn't he? I mean, he got... Whatever happened. He's been through enough. Ooh. Barry! Barry! Looks like Barry and... Whoever her name is, is worth it. There, old buddy, old chum. Ah, oh, yes. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. <laughs> ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. 
Uh, flaming Eye of Mordor. Things you say, then regret. Hunting rifle, good. Now, what's in here? In a wagon? Okay, now, before I go too far, I want to check out this little barn. Just to see what's inside. See what we can see. Which appears to be nothing. No coffee, no manuscript. Nada zip zilch. Still, at least I got my friends back. And here we are, the dam. The dam! <laughs> Terrible joke. <laughs> when you spend most of your night running uphill while a crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in now. <laughs> Barry's enjoying please, this far too much. Please tell me we don't have to move from here. Oh, jeez, I hate this. <laughs> I should have kept that gym membership. Hey, at least there's three of us this time, not just me running through the woods on my own. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Da da da. Oh what the hell is that thing? It's everywhere! Oh crap, there's more than one of them! Nothing moves like that, it's impossible! You've seen this before, I'm sure you've been ah, ah, Do something! Only this two. Is bad. This is really bad. I shit. I think I lost him. Um, no, he's glitching into a rock. I can deal with it when that happens. <laughs> hey. Was that it? Are we safe? That was wow. <laughs> I think we're okay. Best description ever. That was wow. Try not to get us killed. <sighs> Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Okay, at least the elevator's bright. Heads up, here they come. Oh no, oh no. Ah, we're fine. As long as you guys do nothing stupid, oh we'll no. be fine. Oh no. Ha! See, I told you. Come on, open up. I swear this is the slowest elevator in the world. So when it's you guys getting the helicopter, it's fine to take ages, but when it's me calling an elevator, I'll have to help you. Fine. Oh, that's bright. That is one bright elevator. You could have pushed it. Oh, sorry, I was trying to hit the mute button. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. <sighs> What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? 
Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's be careful, okay? And oh, not die. I hate this. Reach the top of the dam. Now I am very, very curious as to see okay, wait. what it There's is. There's a button over there that opens the door. Do we really want to do this? I mean, like really? Nothing good ever happens from opening I think doors. Something's in this broken. Game. Hold the button down so we can get in. <laughs> oh, sure. Brilliant. I'm the one who can save us. You're the ones who get to go inside. Okay, go on. Oh, hello. What's going on? We can get to the dam through here. What's happening out there? You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. How? Please, be careful. I'll take good care of Barry Wakes. You just look after yourself. How? How do I get up there? Oh. Brilliant. you got to be kidding me. That's it, blow it up. Right, well this looks like my way through. Thank oh you. Right, manuscript page. Zane's shoe. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Ooh, we got stuff in the shoebox. Checkpoint! Mm, okay. There's no crows, and I still don't trust it. Oh, no. oh brilliant. Pictures. for me not to have to worry about them. And now they're toast. Ha ha ha! See, why is that I can turn them into toast but not the piece of bread in the garden? <laughs> it's just mean. <laughs> okay, up we go. Oh man, it's gonna make me do stuff, isn't it? This is to be a honey orange job! I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. I see you there. Hey. Anyone else around? Am I safe? I think I'm safe. Just be sure I'm gonna leave that there. And oh no 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 no. Use it! Ah! 
Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, what's happening? Enough. You will go no further. I'm gonna have to leg it, aren't I? Stop! Stop now! Yep. Oh my god. What do I do with this? Oh. Damn it. I hate the darkness. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh man, this thing's really ripping it apart. It does not want me to get away. Ah! Stop it! This is not fair! Stop throwing girders! I don't have any girders to throw at you! I've got a flashlight! Can we at least play on an even place of coffee? Right, I've got a flashlight and coffee. This is exactly what I would call you for Oh! Jump too soon! Okay. I, I don't like the dam. The dam is mean. Oh, hello! Up we go. Where are you? Stop it! No! Right, uh... In here. Down the swirly stairs. Grab the coffee. And don't jump too soon. Dun, 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 dun. No! How are you supposed to make that jump? Hmm. Okay. I've got this. You you can stop it. I've had enough of you. Crazy old lady. What is it with this game and crazy old ladies? You've got a crazy old darkness lady and a crazy old light lady. Where's the crazy old cat lady? Run, jump, yes, and here we go, and a car, you want a brand new car, ah, that hurt, not good, leave me alone, ah, stop throwing them at me, well it ring. crazy lady, now I shoot you. Bang, bang, bang. She's bulletproof. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. You're safe here. I have looked after the well lit room for many, many years now. There is no Not let me shoot her. in the well lit room. The power failsafe and all the parts oh, it's changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Stop letting me shoot her! She's the one who got me into all this trouble. I'm sure of it. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Okay, this room looks... Oh, story. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore, because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them, because it's very late, and I'm tired, and if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Bless her. Ooh, the page was page. autobiographical, a memory from my childhood, but I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. 
To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence, in a story I had written. <laughs> Storyception. I can get to her now. I can finish this. I did it! Another chapter down! Okay, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Rook out!